Hello everyone, welcome to the second day of L Asia 2024 and today we are here at the stall of Apar Industries for having an insightful conversation and today we have with us Mr. Sashi Amin sir for sharing his views. Welcome to Electrica Mirror sir. Thank you madam. So sir, as the leading uh, company in the segment uh, of electrical and power industry, what are the top three thi things to watch out from a power industries in 2024? See, as far as uh, we are concerned, we had an ex excellent last year and the same momentum would be there for this year also. We are working very closely with the various uh, segments. We would be launching some uh, products for the different segment. Here in Alasia, we've launched EV charging which is used for EV vehicle. So that is on display here. Couple of years back, we launched electron beam houseware. So there are a lot of things on the pipeline as far as new product is concerned, which at this point of time, I would not be in a position to comment on that. Sir, can you please elaborate some specifications of APAR Industries cable uh, segment? APAR as such, if you look at our product, we focus on a niche uh, market, like sustainability is a in thing for us. We are the market leaders as far as cables for windmill is concerned. We've got decent enough market share as far as solar is concerned. We are prominently very strong in the renewable business. If I look at my international business also, almost about 45% of the cables what we produced last year was exported to various other countries. We do a lot of solar uh, projects in the sense supply cables to solar projects in US, Australia. So that has been a core uh, for us. At the same time, uh, we are into rolling stock cables. All the uh, cables in Vande Bharat train, I think around 90 to 92% of the cables uh, used in Vande Bharat train are being supplied by us. So we are more into those special type of cables. And with the kind of turnover, what we did, and I'm sure uh, we would be talking great numbers in the coming years. Today is the second day of L Asia 2024 and we see lots of customers at your stall. So what kind of experience you are having over here and what were your key expectations from this event? L Asia has grown over a period of time. I think this is the sixth or seventh edition and we've been part of L Asia uh, right through. The kind of response what uh, L Asia has got is mind boggling. I see a lot of visitors coming in and quality visitors coming who want to know more about this product. And I would wish the uh, Elka team all the best for their success in this exhibition and even the future exhibitions.